Hey guys, it's Vimeo91, and I'm talking about Ninja. Yes, the big streamer that you guys probably know if you're watching my channel. Now, I don't really watch Ninja myself, and most of you would probably know that he moved to Mixer recently, but that's not what I want to talk about. Apparently, when you leave Twitch and your account is like deactivated, when people go to your account, they actually have a message, which is honestly kind of cool. The streamer you're looking for is in another castle, but apparently they also promote other live streamers on the channel. Okay, that's fine, you know, that's Twitch, I get it. They're trying to make money even though you left Twitch. So they want to promote their other channels that they could probably make money with, right? But that's not the problem. The problem is that they are using Ninja's page and apparently one of the links that they were promoting on his page was to a porn account. That's a big problem and Ninja seems pretty mad at them for doing it because Ninja actually had to apologize even though it's not his fault. I understand why he apologized though because that still bears his name. And one of the big problems also is, let's face it, video game accounts appeal to children. And children may have watched it and gone like, oh, let's see what this account is about. So that's bad. It's bad that they are promoting a porn account on his old page. That's just bad in general because Twitch isn't even supposed to have a porn account on there. Even the CEOs like it violates their terms of use. So how did that even happen? And it sucks that it was promoted on Ninja's channel because Ninja is a big live streamer. He's not on Twitch anymore, but he's still going to be a big live streamer most likely. And that gets associated with him. Imagine if a parent walks in, right? And the kid is watching whatever that porn account was because I think they suspended it and, and I don't even know what the name is. And the, the parent associates it with Ninja and goes, okay, it's not safe for my kid to watch Ninja anymore. So it, this is really sucky for Ninja, but I'm, I'm glad that Ninja took this route that he's like saying, I'm disgusted and sorry, he's apologizing. Ninja seems like st a stand-up guy. Like he's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like it wasn't even his fault, but he's still apologizing. He even apologizing to the kids of people. And it's pretty good that Ninja went this route with this, that Ninja was like, no, I don't want that on my channel. I don't want them promoting it on my channel. I wish him all the best. I mean, I don't watch his streams, probably still won't watch his streams. This sucks that this happened to him, but he's definitely reacting, I believe, the way that a streamer should. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.